Good morning. This is Kelo Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Police are investigating a murder and attempted suicide at a Sioux Falls apartment building Wednesday morning. Police got a call around 745 about an unknown problem. When they arrived, a five-year-old boy opened the door and told them the man had hurt the woman. Police saw the man point a gun toward them and the boy. They grabbed the child, got out, and called the SWAT team. The SWAT members were in the hallway. They heard the gunshot, and immediately then they went inside, and then they found the, the suspect. An eight-year-old boy was found in another bedroom, but he was not hurt. Both children are in a safe place. The victim is 26-year-old Brianna Maddox Hatch from Sioux Falls. The suspect is a Sioux Falls man who was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Police won't name him until he recovers and is charged or if he doesn't make it. As the standoff started, officers on the scene called for backup. Within minutes, they got it. But not just from fellow police officers, sheriff's deputies, highway patrol troopers, the fire department, and even a conservation officer from the Department of Game, Fish, and Parks showed up to help out. When you hear calls of, of uh, any type of uh, shooting involved situation where there's you know, multiple uh, people at risk or officer, officers at risk, you know, our officers being the state certified officers, we will respond to those situations just like any other law enforcement. Gus says the agency's 86 officers go through the same law training as other law enforcement officers. The South Dakota Division of Criminal Investigation says a trooper was justified in a shooting in Madison in July. The report says the Sioux Falls Area Drug Task Force asked for help from the Highway Patrol after receiving a tip about a drug trafficker. Troopers spotted the vehicle in Egan, South Dakota and tried to pull it over, but it sped off. Troopers chased after the vehicle with speeds reaching 100 miles per hour. The report says during the chase, one of the people fired a gun multiple times at law enforcement. The vehicle finally stopped in Madison, where authorities say James Lanfer continued to shoot at authorities. A trooper fired back. Lanford tried to run away, but law enforcement arrested him. Bonner Jewell, who was a passenger, was also arrested. Now let's get a check of our forecast with meteorologist Scott Munn. Good morning, Scott. All right, good morning, everybody. We are looking at temperatures to hit the 70s and 80s for afternoon highs today, starting with some cloud cover. Clouds will slowly leave the area. High of 78 in Sioux Falls. A little cooler, though, in northeastern South Dakota. We have 70 going in Aberdeen. 78 in Pier and 75 in Rapid City. More details on your forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. A mariachi band brought a festive feel to the SDSU Student Union to kick off National Hispanic Heritage Month. The event is put on by the Latin American Student Association. Oscar Garcia and Asleti Castillo are both members of the organization. They're looking forward to sharing more about their culture, both based off Mexican roots. And being able to come into college not only as a first generation college student, but like being able to rely on, not rely, but have friends that have the same interests as me means a lot. And having uh, ourselves as a community, as students, that we all have the same interests. Now in college, I like that I can share that with people and I can find people that have the same culture, the same lives as me, because it really is having like another life. It's just you have two cultures, two languages, two types of food, two types of music. We'll be celebrating Hispanic heritage in Keloland later this month in a special Inside Keloland. It will air September 24th at 9 a.m. Central Time and September 25th after the late local news. Fewer kids in the Sioux Falls area will have to go without a bed thanks to one local mattress company. For every mattress Comfort King sells this weekend, they'll be donating a kid's bed to a child in need. This is through a partnership with the Furniture Mission, who serves around 140 families in Sioux Falls per month and says there is a large need for children's beds. It's just so rewarding helping families, um, knowing that you're giving back to the community, knowing that you're helping people that are really in need. Um, it's, it's just a rewarding and incredible feeling. If you aren't in the market for a mattress, you can also donate furniture directly to the Furniture Mission, who says they are in need of a variety of items.
Professional and amateur golfers took their swings during Thursday's Pro-Am events at the Sanford International. A resident of the Good Samaritan Society was among the spectators. Ruth Brockman is originally from Iowa, but moved to Sioux Falls to be near family. This is her first trip to the Minnehaha Country Club and first professional golf tournament. Not that familiar with this golf course, so I'm looking forward to seeing it and seeing the golfers. Among the players Brockman saw and had the chance to meet, two-time U.S. Open champion and Sanford Invitational host Andy North. The 54-hole tournament tees off today. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. How's the weather going to be for that Sanford International, Scott? Well, it looks mostly dry. Uh, we are looking at some cloud cover to begin our day today. Then we'll have a decrease in cloud cover. We will watch those storms we have developing across western and southwestern South Dakota. Notice how they move to the east during the late evening and overnight hours. We'll probably see some of this in eastern and southeastern Kettle Land during the overnight and then that will continue to travel to the east in western and southwestern south dakota there is a risk for severe weather it goes from marginal to slight we'll continue to monitor those storms as they develop uh, later this afternoon and evening well i think next week will be uh, summer to start and then fall to finish we'll have numbers in the 80s and 90s monday and tuesday and then in comes that cooler air by midweek and along with it we'll have to watch for that chance of rain Temperatures for today will be at or above average in many locations as we'll hit the 70s and 80s for afternoon highs. We'll watch that rain chance move west to east during the overnight hours. And then for tomorrow, looks like another day with 70 and 80 degree heat. You can always check the details of the seven-day forecast while you're here online. Have a great weekend.